Hello friends, welcome to Database Academy. In this video, we will learn what is global temporary table and the private temporary table. We will see what is the use of both of them and when we should use the global temporary table and when we can use the private temporary table. So these are the major feature of the global temporary table and the private temporary table. Let us see. So global temporary tables are permanent database object that store data on this. So GTT global temporary table, it is stored permanently in a database like a normal table we keep and it can store their data also on the disk. The data is in GTT is private to session that created it. So all the data that we create in using this global temporary table will be private only and that will be visible to that session only. Next is the GTT can be used to improve the speed of query that perform complex summarization activity. So GTT mostly we use when we are facing any kind of performance issue in the queries that can be improved by using this GTT. And let us see the what what is the feature of the private temporary table. So private temporary table are local to a specific session only. So these tables and the entire structure will be for a specific session only. Second is the definition and content of PTT are only visible to session that created. So the uh, even the structure as I said the structure and the uh, all the data content will be visible only that session that has created. Next is the PTT are stored in memory and dropped at the end of transaction or sessions. So when we, when the session or the transaction is completed, it automatically drops. So we cannot get it back after once the transaction is complete or the session end. So let us see some some of the difference between GTT and PTT. So here are some difference between global temporary table and the private temporary table. So the very first thing is, as I said, that GTT are permanent database object that store data on a disk. So this will be a permanent database object and it will store on disk. But PTT are stored in memory and it will not be stored in disk. So PTT are stored in memory only. GTT are visible to all sessions. So all GTT, all the structures and the tables, table structure will be visible to all, all the sessions. So each session can have their own data, right? In PTT are only visible to a session that created. So PTT will be only visible to the session that have created the PTT table and inserted their data during that during that session only. GTD can be preserved for entire session. So we can keep the record for the entire session that, that, that we can use using the keyword. But in PTT are dropped at the end of transaction or session. So PTT will be automatically dropped once the transaction or the session completed. GTD are not considered normal, normal to create and drop on the, on the fly. So it's not we need to create the GTT tables and we need to write a drop table for this. But in PTT, we don't need to write a drop, drop a statement. It automatically drop when the transition and the session ends. No, no mandatory keywords are used to define the table name. So during the creation of the global temporary table, we can keep the name anything, whatever we want but in the private temporary table we need to use this aura dollar sign and then after we need to use the name if we don't mention the aura dollar that then we will get higher okay so these are the difference between gtt and ptt let us learn see here we will create a temporary table global temporary table so I'm creating a 
global so here global is mentioned that means it will be treated as a global temporary table so let us create this global temporary table there are two columns defined and here you can see that on commit preserve rows so here what it does mean so once we commit the transaction the record will be there it will not delete the record from the table if i mention on commit delete rows then on commit then on commit it will delete on the rows which is there in the gtt employee table so let's create the table global temporary table created now let's see using executing this thing so table is created let's insert some values in this table so there are two records inserted here okay now uh, what i will do i'll give the permission to deepak the user also so that he can access the gtt employee so i'm providing the grant all to deepak now deepak will be also able to see the gtt employee so here you can see that in this session which is connected to hr and this session is connected to deepak so there are two different sessions so in this session he can see his data which is which he has inserted but datas are not visible to deepak because this is totally a different session and this one is different session so the global temporary table will have their own data for a specific session only so this two datas are available for this session only for this session we have not inserted any rows so let's insert some rows in this session two rows got inserted now if we select this one we we can see the data in the global temporary table which is inserted in this session only and this session have different rows okay so global temporary table have the data session specific okay even though if we disconnect the database the structure of this global temporary table will be always there there the structure will be always there we just uh, the record that we have inserted that will be deleted during the session end here while here while creating the global temporary table we can keep two keywords like on commit preserve row or on commit delete row so what does it mean if i commit the transaction the record will be still available because what i have mentioned on commit preserve row that means it will keep your records during the sessions so once i'll close this session then only the record will be deleted so that's the main advantage using this preserve rows we can use delete rows also only difference will be on commit of this transactions it will delete the rows from this global temporary table now let us see the what is the private temporary table so as i mentioned the name of the private temporary table will start with ora dollar so this this keyword is mandatory to create a private temporary table so that oracle will understand this is a private temporary table and here you can see that create instead of global temporary table we are using here private temporary table okay so this is the syntax for creating and here also on commit preserve definition and here on commit delete definition so what does it means on commit of this record on commit it will preserve the definition so a structure will be there but there will be no data but once we end the session private temporary table will be delete automatically including the structure of that okay so that's the that's the use of these keywords delete and preserve now let's create this record uh, 
now let's create this private temporary table so private temporary table is created now if i use select star from the table name we are able to select now let's insert some records in this table so both rec two records got inserted now if i execute this we will we can see that two rows are inserted now this table we will not be visible to any other user or any other session also because this private temporary table is specific to session only if i try to run it here hr dot i will not be able to see the record or even table also yes so we got the table or view does not exist so this private temporary table is specific to session only okay so that was the difference between the global temporary table and the private temporary table so as we have seen all the topics and the difference global temp table and the private temp table so thank you so much for watching my channel and if you are new to my channel please like and subscribe my channel thank you so much